some days you just don't want to be productive. Some days you wake up and just don't feel like doing anything. You want to do nothing. For every blissful day of motivation and boundless energy, there's one of desired solitude, slowness, and relaxation. You want to be horizontal and sedate. First of all, that's okay. This isn't some motivational video where I'm going to tell you to get up and hit the gym or run or something. We're not machines, and even if we were, we'd need to schedule maintenance at some point. Your desire to rest and relax likely comes from somewhere. Sometimes, yeah, you need to push through. But not today. Everyone feels like this sometimes. I was too lazy to do it, but I'm sure you could find a journal entry from like Teddy Roosevelt or Marcus Aurelius, and they would say the exact same thing. It would probably read something like, oh, like, I just want to stay in bed. I just want to relax. It's too cold out. I don't want to get up. And that's Teddy Roosevelt and Marcus Aurelius. I'm neither of them. So I should get to relax more too. And so should you. Rest and relaxation is powerful. You shouldn't have to justify it, but if you do, you can always cite the benefits of taking time for yourself. Reducing stress, improving cognitive function, letting your body heal, the list goes on. The list goes on is what I say when I don't have any more examples for a list. Focusing on restorative activities centered around doing nothing is key. Here are some of my favorite things to do on days when I feel like doing absolutely nothing. But don't overthink this. I'm just sharing what I like to do. You don't have to do any of these things. On days like this, I tend to read a bit, but the key is to make sure you're not reading like anything real. For example, I'm rereading a lot of guilty pleasure books. Think like The Hunger Games, Twilight, Percy Jackson, and Harry Potter. If I was reading like Bell Hooks or Robert Sapolsky, that would count as work. And work is not what today's about. The other key is to be truly bundled up when you're reading. You wanna make sure you're nice and cozy. That's the best way to appreciate the wonderful prose of an author like Stephanie Meyer. Nay, an artist like Stephanie Meyer. If you do this right, you'll begin to feel woozy. In my opinion, nodding off is the perfect way to spend a day like today. As someone who got naps down to a science in college, and by science, I mean taking naps whenever I can, wherever I can, as often as possible. Trust me, my roommates can attest. Some people think naps are dumb. If someone tells you this, tell them you're not napping. Tell them you're practicing quiet wakefulness. Quiet wakefulness is when you lay down, close your eyes, don't nap and you settle into a state of hyper inattentiveness and relaxation. I'm practicing saying that with a straight face so I can tell my boss that's what I'm doing when I'm working late hours in the office. Finally, you wanna make sure you're eating good, sweet foods. Not salads, not carrots, I'm thinking french fries and chocolate. I wanted to make chocolate covered strawberries today, and I did. The key is to pretend you're eating fruit and not using it as a vessel for Nutella. That way, you don't feel guilty about shoveling 150 grams of sugar into your body right before you go to sleep again. Now that we're fully comfy, settled, and have something to do, we can settle in and enjoy the rest of doing nothing. 
Even better than reading, you can also watch a good movie. I'd recommend Clueless or Surf's Up. Genuinely, they're two of the best films to grace God's good earth. Taking days like this for yourself is essential. Everyone needs to. Make sure you appreciate it when you have the time and space and lack of energy to relax and enjoy a day like today. If someone has the audacity to call you out on it, as if, you deserve this. They'll say you're this, you're that, you're you. Let you be you. Thanks for watching this video essay excuse for me to eat chocolate covered strawberries on the couch.